Much like that video from before, from a couple months back, this one triggered something deep within me because I know how that child feels so fucking bad. Now, I didn't have a visceral reaction like he's had because I had already bowed myself to the inevitability of I have no control. I'm nine years old. Picture this. Nine-year-old Mandy, already chunky, already getting bullied in school because I was heavy. Had my hair down to about here. Never, ever had it been cut. And I had a habit of doing this. You know why I had a habit of doing that? Because of all the shit I had been through. I had anxiety undiagnosed. So my parents were constantly on my ass to stop chewing my hair. They even went as far as telling me lies about stories um, saying, you know, a girl was, uh, she died or whatever and they did an autopsy and they found a big ball of hair in her belly trying to make me fear death to get me to stop chewing my fucking hair. So one day, I'm riding with my daddy and then I start doing this because it's a habit at this point. He looks me dead in my eyes and he says, if you chew your hair one more time, I'm going to take you and I'm going to get it all chopped off. And I slowly looked at him like, he's not, he's not serious. And I went, And he turned into the fucking male barber shop, took me in there, and chopped my hair into a fucking bow cut. My mom almost had a stroke. Needless to say, when I went back to school the very next day, the bullying doubled and tripled. Because now I was not only being made fun of for being fat, now I was being made fun of for being ugly and looking like a boy. And it took years to grow my hair back out, which is why to this day, I refuse to chop more than an inch, maybe two at a time. Stop punishing your fucking kids with haircuts, you pieces of mm-hmm. Thank you for coming to this random trauma dump.